Hi, everyone. I'm here to do a live interview with Dr. Michael Koulis. And before we get started, I'd like to know if our sound is working and that I'm coming in okay. I'm waiting for my assistant to get back with me on that. I'm on StreamYard software, so I'm not on Facebook. I'm not in YouTube, but these this video is streaming to both places. If you're watching this, probably you will be watching from Facebook. I can't, if you comment, I will see Facebook user. I won't see your name. Christine is going to share a link in the comments for you to give StreamYard, that's the software I'm using now, access to your name if you want me to see your comments. The better place to see the video really is YouTube. Christine is going to share the YouTube link in the comments here in Facebook. I'm not in Facebook, but she's in Facebook. She's going to share that link for YouTube. It is the better place to see. I'll see your name. I would be able to type back to you if I if I can to your comments. I can't type back to YouTube. I mean, to fa I cannot type back to Facebook people. Facebook is a lot stricter with what they allow us to do. Okay. So as I said, we're going to be talking to Dr. Michael Koulis about Oh, good. Christine says we're loud and clear. Good. We're going to talk to Michael Koulis about vibration therapy and in particular vibration platforms. And I'm going to bring him up in a minute, but I just want to let you know he's a chiropractor. He's been practicing for 27 years and he has his own clinic in Whitby, Ontario. And he does acupuncture and some energy healing. And I've been going to him for a few years now, maybe three and he's an excellent chiropractor, and I can't wait to get him on here. So I'm going to call him in now. That's weird. It's not letting me add him to the stage. Oh, I know why, maybe. Hold on. There he is. Oh, I was worried. Hi, Michael. Hi, Angie. How, How are, are you today? today? I'm good. Happy good. we got this going, and I think it's working smoothly everywhere. So, well, thanks yeah. for having me on, and thanks for you know sharing me with your audience. I always like to come on and you know help educate people about health and wellness, and uh, I'm really happy that I was able to pick up this vibration platform. And I'm new to it, but I've been doing a lot of research on it, and I've been using it, and I'm having you know just a really good feeling about it you know, based on the research and based on my own personal experiences. So I'm glad to be on and to talk to your people about all the great uh, benefits and what I've been noticing so far. Awesome. So there's a lot of people that don't even know about vibration therapy or vibration platforms. If they asked you what that was, how would you explain it to them? Well, there's, there's a lot of different types of vibration platforms. Um, some just vibrate. Some will um, just oscillate and some will do some lateral movement and some combine them all. Uh, there's been a lot of studies on especially the vibration part of it. But I think there's even more benefits when you start mixing them together and adding in the oscillation factors and the lateral factors. Um, it's just going to stimulate your whole body, whether it's to, to flow energy better through your body, which is circulation and lymph flow, but it's also stimulating your bones because you're doing like it's like weight bearing exercises, um, but it's like increased. It's <laughs> it's uh, it's accelerated. So you can get a, a really stimulating weight bearing exercise in in a short period of time. So would you say out of the so the pulsation is just vibrating and the lateral goes side to side and the pulsation, I mean, the oscillation is like a teeter totter motion. Would you that's say right. that that's the best one out of the three? The oscillation. Is that what I you're think, saying? I, I know there's a lot of research on the pulsation and the different frequencies, but I I personally, like from just being an athlete and, you know, moving my body in all these different ways, I know I can feel the benefit of the 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 larger movements like oscillation and the lateral. Mm -hmm. But then there's also that underlying vibration, which is also we know is beneficial. So I think combining them is is the best best bet really yeah okay so i notice when i'm doing oscillation i feel it 
more, it's more jarring almost to the body when it's on level one than level say 30, like which would be a medium. Like on our platforms, you have the Rumble X Plus like I do. It goes up to 60. So if I'm at 30, it feels easier than on level one. How come, why is that? Well, I think on, on level one is oscillating slower. So you're actually getting the full tilt of your body. And when it starts going faster, you can't get over there as quick. So it, it's just going to like, you know, vibrate and you're going to stay more on the midline. So it's a higher frequency, but you're not getting the amplitude of the movement of your body. I think they're both beneficial. In their own ways? In their own ways. Like when you're walking, you're, you're getting that big, slow movement back and forth. But now we can accelerate the benefits of that by increasing the frequency of the vibration. Would you say, though, like when I first got my platform, I did... I just noticed it was more, it was harder on level one when I started going up higher. So would you think that somebody that's newer or feels it's a bit much for them at first should start at 30 rather than a like a middle, I shouldn't say 30 for everybody, it depends on the platform, but on a middle, more in the mid range for, I call it intensity, but really it's not more intense, is it? It's just faster. It's faster. I, I personally would just start with a shorter period of time and let your body get used to it and then work your way up like any you know exercise that's what i recommend for my patients you know just start you know even if you only did one minute twice a day or something like that that is a good start and there is research showing benefits from just doing a short period of time like that a couple times a day yeah i think doing it regular matters more than how much you do at a time doesn't it that's right. And, and they don't recommend we do much more than like 10, 15 minutes max. So, um, yeah, at a time, right? I think it's okay right. to do 10 or 15 minutes two times a day. But yes. not, you wouldn't want to do much more than that. So, you have the Rumblex Plus, and I've talked about the programs, the pre programs on it before, and said I like they weren't, I didn't like them that much, but you do. So can you talk about the programs and why you do or do not like the programs? Well, for me, it was a great way to try out all the different movements. And then I like the way they've combined them. They're actually quite, uh, you know, like it, I'm not, I'm not actually, you know, doing the buttons and pressing it myself. I'm just being like surprised into what's coming next. And it's yes. almost like, you know, when you're playing a sport or you're walking in, in real life, in the you know out in nature you're not sure what's going to come uh you know around the next corner whether you're downhill uphill going sideways you know did you step on a rock or you you know <laughs> that that footing of yours did the you know the tree branch roll over a little bit so like you're kind of getting all this live action and it, it reminds me of what i'm doing when i'm like in nature or playing sports so um i think it's really beneficial to you know keep that proprioceptive uh you know, sense really tight and, and you're actually like getting your coordination back. Yeah. I, I think it's a lot of fun to have these different programs. I, I've tried all three of them out and I think they're quite well done. I think number two is my favorite out of, uh, <laughs> out of the three. So. Yeah. So those are 10 minute programs, are they? Yes. I think they are. I don't, I usually use the rumblex manually, but maybe I'll go back to trying that. But I think I think a beginner shouldn't use the programs. Wouldn't you say that? Because they get intense quick. Like somebody that's just starting out might want to just try the manual modes one at a time and get used to them before they jump into a program. Yeah, I think that's good advice, Angie, to, um, you know, get a sense of what each of the, you know, you know, I'd probably start with pulse, just the pulsation, the vibration, because you can feel that it's not too dramatic. And then if you, you know, then you could start adding in oscillation. And then I think the tougher one is the lateral one. Like, and and then once you kind of like feel comfortable with that, then, you know, you could start putting a couple of them together. And that's what the programs do is they'll put them together and then they'll they'll actually automatically bring the frequency up and down, up and down. And it's 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 quite stimulating. So I, mm -hmm. I, I jumped into the programs in the first few days. So that's just me. <laughs> yeah, well, you're an athlete. I like to think so. Somebody that, like some people that might not have good knee, knees or hips or just had surgery, because people do use these vibration platforms to recover from knee surgery, like when they're having a replacement or a hip replacement, but not right away after surgery. How long do you think they should wait after? Or maybe everybody's different. So how would they know it's time that they could start using the vibration platform after something like that? I would, I would start out um, with the pulsation. 
and I would even do it in a, from a sitting position. So you could just sit and just put your feet lightly on the platform and you'll feel the stimulation. And that is going to start stimulating, you know, the bone marrow in your bones and joints to, to actually take the stem cells instead of them, you know, being, you know, evenly combined into, you know, fat tissue and muscle tissue and bone tissue. You, you actually, when you stimulate these bones with that pulsation, it's going to actually move the stem cells to create more bone. So you increase your bone density. You also increase your, your muscle tissue. So you're actually stimulating to get more stronger bones, stronger muscles, and that'll increase the healing time. And it's actually decreases the amount of stem cells going towards you know, creating fat tissue, which we all probably don't need any extra of that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So would you think that if somebody just bought the waiver, there's there's different platforms I want to talk about in a minute, but with the waiver, it only oscillates. Would that be beneficial just even having that without the other modes that the other more expensive brand, um, models have? Yeah, I think there, there's benefits like to all of the different ones out there that I've I've tried out, there's there's showing to be some benefits. Now, um, you don't want to stay on them like too long because I guess it can get to a point where it could be like over vibrating your body. But I would say they all have some benefits. There's costs involved. I think some of these were very expensive machines at, at one point, um, and then some of them have come down in price. And and sometimes they're offering a lot more features. There's been a lot of research and design into uh, these machines. I really like this Life Pro one. This is the first one I've personally owned myself. So, um, Well, the Waver is a Life Pro. It's just a different model, right? You have okay. the Rumblex and the Wavers only have oscillation. That's what I'm asking if that's that would be beneficial enough to have, without them having to buy a more expensive model. Would they still be building bone and burning fat and that just with the Waver that only oscillates? Yeah, the waiver, like I think that oscillation motion is kind of mimicking walking. So you're like going through a walking type of motion, but now you can do it at an accelerated pace. So we know walking itself is very beneficial for, you know, bone structure and, you know, muscles. So even just doing that waiver, you're going to get benefits from, you know, using that machine as well. Including bone density? Yes. Yeah, any weight bearing exercises is stimulating you to lay down bone density. And that's what we all should be doing. We don't want to be losing bone density. So any way we can stimulate our bones to get more dense. And that's, you know, even just gravity itself. If we were to, if we were to like go up to a lower gravity, like when astronauts go to the moon, they actually start losing bone density very quickly because they're not getting that stress of gravity on their body, not doing that weight bearing exercise right on, you know, mother earth. So I think this, that's the stresses we need to innately lay down more bone. Right. You got to use it or lose it. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, how much more beneficial would it be or what would the added benefits be if people are actually working out on the platform? Because there are a lot of videos you can follow. People do yoga. I like to use um, dumbbells or the, the all of the platforms come with, what do they call the bands, the resistance bands. And there's some that attach to the platform so you, you can do different things with your arms and that. So how is that going to help? Like I've heard you can get an hour's worth of workout, working out, doing that kind of thing if in 15 minutes, if you do it on a platform. Why it definitely accelerates your, your stimulus of your body so that you're, you're, you're for, especially for people that are not as active as they'd like to be like, so they don't, maybe they're, they're working on a computer for eight hours a day and they're not being able to get as a, the amount of walking in or the amount of exercise in. So you jump on that platform a couple of times a day, you're going to uh, get the added benefits of a longer workout in a shorter period of time on this platform, whether you're doing, you know, push-ups or you're doing squats or you're you're doing the bands. I do use the bands and I'm lifting them over my head. And then, you know, you're you're feeling the stimulation through all the joints of your body too. So yeah, I do like the added benefit of doing a few workouts on the 
on the machines as long as you're you know you're comfortable with your balance and i think the machines will help with your coordination and your balance over time too so yeah, yeah. i've read that for people with osteoporosis the worst thing they could do is fall because that's people don't die from having weak bones they die when they fall with weak bones so the first thing like it takes time to build bone back up right but yes. the first benefit people will get in quickly i'm told is better balance and stability so that will save them from falling while they're building up their bones yeah yeah and one of the most important uh i i brought my spine with me here one <laughs> one of the most important areas to protect is your like your hip bones because they need to get strong because that's like your weight bearing bone and when people have osteoporosis, they're often losing density in these hip bones. And if you do break a hip, a lot of these people go into the hospital and some of them never come out. And then there's a high percentage of men that don't come out, um, even though women tend to have more weaker bones and osteoporosis. But we definitely want to protect and lay down strong bones in our hips and in our pelvis in this basically this spinal structure that's protecting your spinal cord. This is, you know, your framework of your body that everything is going to work around. So, yeah, you know, it's important to be proactive and start doing things that will lay down strong bones, especially your hip bones and your, your sacrum and your pelvis. So do you think maybe doing squats is something that would really help that? Or can you just stand on it and get benefits like that to help your hips and everything? I think standing on it will get, you know, give you benefits, but then... If you feel comfortable, adding squats in is, is even better. Okay, so I've, I've read that vibration therapy can help with stress and depression, any mental or emotional issues. How, why does it do that? <laughs> you know, a lot of it is like mindset. For me, like when I get on this vibration platform, I feel good. I feel like I'm doing something good for my body too. So it's like self-love. And I'm like, I also, this, this vibration I get right up my, like from my sacrum, right up my back. It's like, yeah, it's like a tingling feeling. It's almost like, I don't know if you're familiar with Kundalini energy, but it's like energy rising up your spine, but it, yeah. it feels good. And it raises my vibration. I do a lot of like energy works things as well so i can just feel my frequency raise up it makes me smile i just feel good about the whole thing and i'm not i know from the research i'm doing something good for my body too so it does you know it can release and the other thing you see when you see like an animal in nature and they come out of a stressful situation what they do is they, they shake they shake real fast and that's what this this machine i think is doing it's it's giving that real fast shake like a dog could shake off the water or a duck could shake off the you know the stressful situation by flapping its wings real quick so i think this real high frequency shaking is a way to release like the the stress and trauma out of our body awesome yeah i feel that too it's weird because if i do it in the morning it wakes me up it makes me feel like my energy's up and I'm ready to go. But if I do it near bedtime, it relaxes me. <laughs> I don't understand that, but it does. And I have carpal tunnel syndrome symptoms sometimes, but after coming to you, it got a lot better. And I was only feeling symptoms in the mornings. If I get up and start typing and writing, that's then I get tingling in my hand. But if I lay my forearms on the, it's hard to see because I'm only on half the screen, but forearms on the platform i just get on my knees and put my forearms on the platform on vibration mode on the pulsation for maybe one or two minutes close to bedtime i get zero symptoms in the morning yeah you've just uh you know enlivened your your joints and it's probably improved the circulation it's stimulated the nerve flow it's doing a lot a lot of, a lot of things a lot more things that we probably even realize and, and even scientifically know right now some of the areas that i that I study too, like some people will be looking at, you know, the vibration through the knee joint and different joints. They're, they're finding that there's this electromagnetic piezoelectric effect that is very healthy for the body to help stimulate the regrowth of, you know, cartilage and joints. So uh, there's so many new things we're going to develop. Like this, this human body is really amazing. And mm -hmm. it's, it's, you know, it's a, it can be like dense energy, but it's also, 
very subtle energies too that are um, that are playing a part in our health and wellness. So like that piezoelectric effect, I think we're going to see more studies in that area. Yeah, that's that's cool. So what else have I got here? Um, how would it help with recovering from injuries? So I would start like sitting down and just putting my feet on it if I had like a knee injury or knee surgery. But, you know, we want to build up that proprioception again and we want to get the circulation going and, you know, blood flow, nerve flow. All these things are going to be increased when you're on these platforms. And what about breathing? Your breathing technique while you're even just standing on it. Is that important? Should you pay attention to that? Yes. Uh, breathing is very important. Of course, we've been breathing our whole lives. That's what keeps us here. <laughs> so you can breathe shallow and learn to consciously breathe deep. And you can play around with different breathwork techniques, which I do. And there's different ways that you can change the physiology of your body based on your breathing. You could be doing these uh, these platforms and instead of it being a real like sympathetic stressful situation, we can do it in a way that is more relaxing and parasympathetic. And I think that's what you were kind of uh, even understanding when you maybe are doing the platform first thing in the morning where you want to get alive and exercise, get kind of get your body moving. And then at night you want to like, like be able to settle down and maybe shake some of the stress out from the day. And then yeah. you can do different type of breathing, more of a parasympathetic, slow, deep breathing at, at, in the evening, I think would be beneficial. Nice. So how, how does it help with flexibility? Like what, why does it help with flexibility? Because I notice it does. So I think a lot of your joints, they build up little fibers, and especially the spine. I know they'll, They'll have areas where the disc is like bulging and then it builds up fibers and it starts fusing together. But when you stimulate that, it doesn't let them fuse and doesn't let them calcify to the same degree. So like you're limiting the uh, bone spurs that are developing. And then you do want to be um, going through the full range of motion and getting that flexibility. I think there's even been some research on the intervertebral discs, those discs between the spine, they actually get more in live and more blood flow when you are uh, stimulating, stimulating them with these vibration platforms and they keep the discs healthier. So then obviously your spine will be more flexible when you, uh, you know, you're using these platforms as well. Wow. That's, that's great. I need to use mine even more often. It's one thing to get a platform and, and then you use it for a while and then people stop using them. Like I get off away from it sometimes, but I think that we're going to start some kind of support thing on our website for people with these platforms because I want to see people using them and not just like people know that I do have an affiliate link with Life Pro and I'm going to get that link right now. I'm going to paste it. It's only going to show up in people using YouTube. Okay. But Christine will post the link again in Facebook for the Facebook watchers. But yes, I get a discount. I mean, I get a commission when people use my link, but it also helps us to be able to keep giving, doing these free giveaway contests. We had one the other day for a sauna blanket and I'll be drawing the name after this video is over for anybody listening stand by in the group because probably within 10 minutes after this video is over I'll do the live draw for the blanket and people should be listening to this because there could be questions in this video that will be asked in the last giveaway video on Monday at 7 o'clock p.m. EST we'll be giving away a vibration platform so People should watch this video and study up. And some That's of you a hint for everybody listening. Yeah. And you know, Angie, I think you've always been very genuine in, in your advice to me. And I really appreciate you encouraging me to look at some of these uh, different products over the years. And, and I'm really happy with, um, you know, the advice you've been giving. And, and I probably would not have uh, purchased this, this item like uh, right away. But I realized it was actually a quite reasonably priced. 
because I always thought they were a lot more money. And then what we realized is when you start using it and you start getting the benefit of it on a regular basis, and then you start seeing the research, they're doing even research like, you know, people going to Na like in NASA and space scientists and all kinds of people are seeing some great research. So I'm, I'm really glad that you've encouraged me to uh, look into this platform, purchase one for myself and start using it and the benefits. And, and you should get some commission because you are, you know, putting yourself out there and you're giving good advice. So keep up the good work, Angie. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> and somebody, wait, hold on a minute. Uh, so, so I've asked pretty much everything I had in mind here, but there's questions in the comments. So maybe I'll read a couple of them and see if you want to answer some of those. Can you see them on the right side there? Somebody was some. asking. I only see Facebook user because Christine is sharing a link in the comments. If you want me to be able to see your name when you're commenting from Facebook, you have to grant StreamYard access for those that showed up late. But one says my mom has been diagnosed with osteoporosis and she has scoliosis. That's advancing. Just started taking her to the chiropractor. Good idea. Who thinks a vibration plate would be useful as well as helping her with neuropathy? Oh, yeah. Somebody was asking about neuropathy. So how would you suggest using this as, and is there any risk with osteoporosis? No, it helps osteoporosis. And I think we've pretty much covered how to use it. Is there anything special that you have to say about that? I would always start, you know, with a short period of time, you know, maybe with pulsation and then work your way up as you get more comfortable with, you know, some of the other different movements, then you could start, you know, mixing them together. But I think, you know, when you're already diagnosed with osteoporosis or neuropathy, you want to prevent it from getting any worse. Uh, there is, you know, like anything, anything's possible to heal from, but you know, a lot of these things, the, the most important thing is preventing it from getting worse. So that's what these, these modalities will do. And uh, you just have to use them and, and start and gentle and work your way up. And along with proper nutrition and supplements, right? Because we, our body needs the materials to rebuild too. Well, that we are what we eat and don't excrete. So <laughs> all the food in there, good nutrients. We do need more minerals. Um, we're not getting a lot of these things in our regular uh, food sources. So, yes, there's so much to be said about uh, supplementation and, and good nutrition. Definitely. Someone wants to know how much percentage of increase are getting people getting. I don't have any. I don't you know if you have any answers for that right now. I don't. You'd have to. There's research done, though. Like There's tons of peer-reviewed articles that are like medical and there's a lot of natural health articles out there, and they have done studies, extensive studies. So there, the information's out there, but I don't know what, I can't tell you how much percentage you're going to regrow bone, but it's going to take time. You have to do it consistently over time. But like I said earlier, you'll increase your um, stability and balance first, like pretty quick. You can notice a difference with, with that within a couple or a few times using the platform. And that's what's most important because, as I said, maybe you weren't here earlier, but we don't die of weak bones. People will die when they fall. And as Dr. Kulis was saying, men somehow are worse because less men get osteoporosis, but more men die from falling with osteoporosis. That's what I've learned. And what about red light therapy with this? I know something about that because I do wear my red light therapy belt when I'm on the platform sometimes, definitely, because... And then I'll put my face mask on sometimes and I'm doing the weights and I'm standing there. I like multitasking. You can get a lot done in 10 or 15 minutes when you do that. And it makes a funny picture too. So how can it help neuropathy? We didn't mention that before. Either lower legs, feet. I think it would help especially in the lower legs and feet because you're standing on it. But even if you have upper body stuff, that's why there's good videos out there for sitting on it and laying on it and doing all kinds of yoga things on it to benefit your upper body more because I have to lay my arms right on it to help my carpal tunnel syndrome. It doesn't help just standing on it. So what do you say about neuropathy? Do you have anything to say about how it helps that? I would, I would, 
I haven't looked at the research really closely, to be honest, but I know anytime you're stimulating, you know, the joints and the muscles, it is going to, you know, activate the nerves and keep them alive with you. Um, if you're not stimulating, that's when things die down. So the more we can stimulate them, the better off we will be. And this person's saying that they're experiencing neuropathy from the platforms. I've never heard of that. No, because the platforms treat neuropathy. These platforms don't have high EMFs. They they do have a, they are Bluetooth. I think you can use Bluetooth with them. I never have. That would raise the EMFs if you're going to be using the Bluetooth speakers on them. I don't know what all models have that. The Rumblexes do, but I've never used it yet. I don't need to listen to anything on my platform. I guess it has speakers in it. I don't know because I wouldn't do that myself. I don't need to. And any other questions? I can't see whose names are. I can just see Facebook user. Yes, go Angie. Who's that? <laughs> Thank you for the information. Is there any other questions that people have? I don't think anybody's coming from YouTube much here, but now we've covered pretty much everything. Is there anything else you want to say about the whole, oh, I should talk about the platforms themselves. Like there are I did put a link for the platforms. There is a sale now, 20% off, plus you get a free massage gun. If you've seen any of my videos about that, you know I'm in love with my massage gun. But the lower models, the the waivers, they just oscillate. There's a waiver mini and a, and a larger waiver. And I think if you are worried about space and how heavy they are, maybe the mini would be better for you. But the, the bigger waiver gives you more surface space to work on. To do exercises and whatnot then there's one that they have one motor the ones with two motors can do two different modes so there's the hover which does oscillation because they all do and it does the lateral side to side and the turbo what i have does the oscillation and the vibration because i picked that one because i like the vibration for my carpal tunnel syndrome i like that on that and because it has great programs. And then there's all the Rumblex models. There's a few of them, but most of them, except for two, have a curved surface. So I've heard that, well, Life Pro says athletes, some athletes that want to challenge their balance and their muscles around their knees get the curved platform. And if you have any knee problems, issues like that, like I do a little bit, my knees aren't too bad, but to stay on the, on the flat platform. And I have a flat one. I really don't want to have a curved one. Do you see why that would make a difference with the curved platform? Yeah, for sure. Like if you, if you have a flat platform, uh, you're going to have equal pressure kind of going up through your knees, especially if you got your, your arches are working properly. But if you, if you do have that curved platform, you are going to be putting more stress and it will be an angle it's kind of like even walking uh, on a track that's, that's inclined on one side. You, you, it does have an abnormal wear and tear on your on your back if you if you have the abnormal uh, or the the tilted platform. So I think for athletes it's good. Like I said, you're you know when you're walking out in nature, you're going to get all kinds of different angles. So it, it will help with that. But um, you know for for someone who just wants you know more stability, the flatter platform would probably be better. Yeah, so most of them are, but there are, well, I mean, the Rumblexes, there's curved ones, but the Rumblex Plus, and I think the, the Rumblex, I forget the other one, but there is another flat one. I would recommend most people, unless they are quite athletic and they want to really challenge themselves to maybe get the curved one, but in general, the, the flat ones are better as far as I'm concerned, and the Rumblexes do have the three modes, all, all three of them. You can, you can use them one at a time, or you can combine two, or you combine all three. So with three modes, there ends up being seven possibilities. So you one, two, three, one, two, two, three, one. There's seven different combinations you can use. So that's, yeah. So anything else you want to finish off with? About vibration therapy or anything else? I'm just really happy with my platform and I like the programs. It's been challenging me. And I'm going to continue to keep on using it. And I want you to continue to give good advice out there, Angie. And thanks for having me on today. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it so much. And I'm sure many of our viewers do. 
not a lot are probably watching live right now. I don't can't tell how many, but there's going to be a lot more to see it later. And I'm really happy you came on. Thanks a lot. My we'll pleasure. See, we'll see you again in the office. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Take care, everybody. So everyone, that was Dr. Michael Coolis. That was awesome. Got some really good information. Is there any other questions? If you're watching this later when it's not live, you can still ask questions in the comments and I'll be around to answer them there. And remember that I am doing the draw today for the um, sauna blanket, the Rejuva Wrap sauna blanket, which is an excellent blanket. And I'm excited to see who wins that. I'm sure many are as well. That's one of the best prizes that we've given in this Life Pro thing. And we'll do another video on Monday at 7 p.m. EST for the final giveaway video for 2023. And hopefully people keep supporting Life Pro by using well, and supporting me by using my links. Then we'll be able to do more of this in, in January. And I will have some other videos coming up. Join my YouTube channel. I'm going to be putting a lot more videos up there about these products and about all kinds of other things. My favorite one is me testing natto. If you've ever tried natto, you know what I mean. It's a it's an interesting video. So anyway, thanks everybody for watching, and I appreciate you all. And we'll see you back in the group. And thank you again.